All I'm saying is I'm trying to make sure that through all of this stuff that's happening, I'm able to successfully close on this stupid fucking house here in the near future. Oh, this no has been kidding, the bane of my existence for the last several oh. weeks, and it turns out the problem is more complex than I realized at first. If you sell a house these days, the buyer might be a pension fund. Huh. Really? Yield-chasing investors are snapping up single-family homes, competing with ordinary Americans, and driving up prices. Uh, why would they do such a really? thing? Really? This is starting to sound familiar. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I feel like I've seen something like this before. Ooh. Now, who could it possibly be that is running around buying up all of these houses so that people like myself and Mina are having such a difficult time that when our property management company decided to give us a notice to vacate, even though we always paid rent on time, our only option was to turn around and buy the fucking house from them because there's literally nowhere to goddamn move to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what's happening exactly. right now. And so, meanwhile, who, who could be doing this to us? Well, BlackRock Financial and other uh, investment firms are now killing the dream of home ownership, journalist says. Well, I don't care about what journalists say, but what I will tell you is this. Uh, throughout everything I've read and learned in this whole process, they try to make it act like... Uh, they try to act like, uh, oh man, buying a home is such an amazing experience and you'll have a whole team and people are always so excited. I don't know where the fuck they're getting all that. This has been miserable for us, dude. For those people, yeah, for real. Jesus oh. Christ, I don't know what kind of ideal last scenario they have where they got to save up and plan for it, but this shit just got dropped in my lap right at the same time that I had to fucking deal with a family funeral, man. This ain't the time that I could get it fucking moved. You know what I mean? My only option was to buy the damn thing and the price is too high and it's partially because of people like fucking BlackRock. Meanwhile, everybody acts like it's a boon. Ooh, hot Houston area housing market sets records in May. Yeah, it sure as fuck does set records. Records of how goddamn long it takes for me to buy this fucking house. Holy shit, I can't believe how many middlemen there are in this whole thing. Jesus, yeah. And you might go, how did this happen? How does this housing market get so big, man? Well, there's a black rock inside. <laughs> <laughs> man, they went straight chrono trigger. They didn't straight they? chrono oh, triggered us, God. dude. They chrono triggered us. That's right. God and I'll tell it. you something. We already got enough fucking problems with our housing right now without one of these big investment groups coming in and fucking it up for fucking everybody, dude. Uh -huh. There's already issues. Houston apartment complex residents frustrated because they're still without water after the February freeze. Jesus wow. Christ. It's June. What? We're halfway through dude. June. Jesus. Man, still don't have... I tell you what, it's worse than that, too. Houston Mayor and other Fuck. local leaders to speak at inquiry about denial of Hurricane Harvey funds. That was like four Holy, years ago, it was man. Years ago. Holy shit. People still can't get their shit taken care of after all of this fucking time. And meanwhile, all these people are moving in. Goddamn, I'll tell you, our fucking traffic is already bad enough as it is, and it's getting worse. Getting a lot fucking worse. And on top of that, meanwhile, homicide rate way fucking up this year. God, son of a bitch, man. Oh, man. And you might go, God damn, this is starting to sound familiar. You're telling me that a private business took its money from its investors and used it to completely saturate mm -hmm. ownership within a single metropolitan housing market so as to squeeze out existing homeowners and let their personal economies falter while things like drugs, crime, traffic get worse in the city, which will eventually give them the opportunity to buy it outright at pennies on the fucking dollar. Well, where in the fuck could a company get the money to do something like this? That's Guess what, question. friends? BlackRock wins approval to start China mutual fund business. Oh, come on! Where do they have the money they keep s***ing it on this show? They're literally trying to buy my house. 
They're literally oh, wow. trying to buy my house now. This is what's fucking happening. And I know what you're thinking. You're going, God damn it. Who are these evil motherfuckers who would yeah. dare to besmirch the American dream in this way? Just let me see the faces who of who, who these overconfident they? Chinese funded dream destroying sons of bitches are. And lucky for know. you, fam, you watched the Fright Power Hour and we have yes. obtained exclusive photographs of not only the board members of BlackRock, but their new plan to keep the streets of Houston, Texas safe as they blow really? up the real estate market in order to facilitate things for the Chinese. Are y'all ready to see these mother? Look at this. this is unbelievable. Oh, no. This is unbelievable. Let's take a look at this boardroom. Oh, these sons oh, of look bitches. At, look at those smug sons these of bitches These smug there. motherfuckers oh. right here. And who is the man with a plan to keep everybody fucking safe as the Chinese buy up all our real estate? God damn it, there he is right there. Oh, it's course. Dick Jones. Dick, it's Dick Jones. Jones. I work for Dick Jones! That's right, and that's the whale's honest truth, whether you're dead or alive. I'm not a criminal. I'm an artist working in an unpopular medium. Can I just speak to you? I mean, really speak to you, like man to man. I've known you for a long time, William. And I know about your penchant for spying on women.